Welcome, football enthusiasts! Without further ado, let's get straight to the news. Karim Benzema joined up with the France national team on Monday ahead of their UEFA Nations League games. The Real Madrid striker was congratulated by all his teammates and also got to meet with Kylian Mbappe for the first time since he made the shocking decision to stay at PSG. In the video uploaded by the France Football Federation, Benzema can be seen sharing a warm hug with the PSG striker, who is delighted to meet him. This proves that there is no animosity between the two forwards. After many speculated about it following Benzema posting a picture of Tupac soon after Mbappe signed the new PSG deal. Robert Lewandowski officially confirmed he doesn't want to play for Bayern anymore. My era at Bayern is over. I don't see any chance of continuing my career at this club. Bayern is a serious club, so I hope they won't keep me just because they can. A transfer is the best solution. I hope they don't stop me. The striker highlighted during a press conference of the national team of Poland. As we can see, Robert seriously set his sights on leaving the FC Bayern. Barcelona must be already preparing a lucrative offer. Oliver Kahn discussed Robert Lewandowski's opinion on his future at Bayern. Why Robert chose this way? I cannot tell you. Such public statements aren't helpful for anybody involved. Robert has won the title as the best footballer of the year twice in a row. He should know what Bayern means to him. Appreciation is not considered a one-way street, stated the Bavarian CEO. We think this transfer saga could drag on for a while longer. Lionel Messi reacted to PSG's Champions League elimination from Real Madrid. We had a barbaric illusion in that competition. And more how the game was, the result was a blow. I know what Real Madrid is. I lived it all my life from up close. And I knew that could happen because they make you a goal out of nowhere and automatically change the game. I already knew it could happen and it happened to us. To all the teams. And it's not the first time it happens. Real Madrid, without detracting from it, much less because it's the Champions League champion and it's always there, was not the best team in this Champions League. And yet, it beat them all, concluded PSG representative. PSG attacker Neymar shed some light on Lionel Messi facing difficulties while adapting to PSG. Leo has spent many years in Barcelona. It's difficult to adapt. It's hard to change teams and cities. In addition, he doesn't come alone, but with his family. The language is also different, there are a lot of confusing things. There is also the style of play of the team with players who do not understand the way he plays. So, all that is detrimental. Leo, Kylian and I are players who are always judged on their performances. Their statistics, their titles won, on everything. Everyone judges. Shiro the Brazilian in an interview with Canal Football Club. Karim Benzema had a say on the Ballon d'Or talks after winning the Champions League. Ballon d'Or, as I said, it's a dream. A dream that is getting closer. The journalist continued. Not far, but now I have time to think about it. I did better than last year and I hope it gets closer. Noted the Real Madrid forward. Lionel Messi thinks that Karim Benzema deserves to win the Ballon d'Or. There are no doubts. It's very clear that Benzema had a spectacular year and ended up victorious in the Champions League. He was fundamental in all the matches from the round of 16 onwards. I think there is no doubt this year. The PSG forward said, Well, Messi accepted. Now they will definitely give it to him. The fans troll. Lino Messi has opened up about how much he struggled to transition from Barcelona to PSG last season. He told TX Sports. The change from Barcelona to PSG was very difficult. I never imagined such a thing. This coming season, I'm sure I will perform much better in France. In Barcelona, I had everything. I left when I was very young. I lived more in Barcelona than in Argentina. The truth is, I had no plans to change anything. Luckily, the adaptation of my children was spectacular. For Antonella and me, it was more difficult. Messi said. Barcelona are again experiencing problems with the registration of its newbies. The Blaugrana have already completed the moves of Andreas Christensen and Frank Yesio as free agents. Barcelona have agreed on a new contract for Sergio Roberto. However, according to Sport S, the club hasn't yet introduced the newcomers and hasn't announced the resigning of Roberto due to issues with their registration. 
If La Liga got to start tomorrow, Barca would not be able to introduce Christensen, Kisya and Roberto in the squad at all. To settle out the problem, Barcelona needs to work to increase the revenue. Eden Hazard addressed Real Madrid fans during their Champions League triumph celebration. Madridistas I've been here for three years with many injuries, with many things, but next year I'm gonna give it all for you," the midfielder claimed. When the Belgian finished speaking, the rest of the Real Madrid footballers began to hug and jump around him. I'm sure next year will be mine," Azar also added. He said the same thing last season. As a result, he ate burgers and sat on the bench all season. Madrid supporters are not believing Eden's big words. Manchester United are eyeing in Golo Kante. The Red Devils plan to bolster the midfield area, considering the option with a Chelsea midfielder whose contract is valid for one more year. Chelsea, in their turn, have no intention of selling the Frenchman. The pensioners are open to rebuild midfield, but would rather get rid of Jorginho than N'Golo. The news is akin to info that a pimply teenager is interested in the most beautiful girl in the class though neither she nor the other girls notice him. Football fans come up with a joke. Real Madrid are willing to meet Monaco's demands for the transfer of Erlian Chomani. Los Blancos are offering 80 million euros for the transfer of the 22-year-old midfielder, the exact sum the Monegasques wanted. Monaco are about to accept this offer from Real Madrid, despite the fact that PSG also are competing for Chomani. At the same time, Madrid side has accelerated negotiations after winning the Champions League Cup. Thus, the parties are getting close to finalizing the deal. Moreover, Aurelien himself has already agreed a five-year contract with Real Madrid. Patrice Evra commented on waves of criticism put towards Cristiano Ronaldo. Can we leave this guy alone? He's got 18 goals. Where would we be if Cristiano wasn't in this squad? That's why when people talk about him, I'm like, those people are not in peace with themselves or they are jealous. It's so crazy. I don't even want to answer that question anymore because I've answered so many times. But before his arrival, United were second in the Premier League and reached the final of the Europa League. Many supporters can't understand Nebra. Julian Nagelsmann hopes Bayern can take Sadio Mane. According to journalist Florian Plattenberg, the Munich boss wanted to see a Liverpool attacker in his roster right from the first day after he got appointed. Nagelsmann sees the Senegalese as the 9 or in the position below. Besides, Mane's knowledge of the German language definitely serves him an advantage. Bayern's coaching staff are expecting that the club's sporting director Hassan Salahimidzic is capable of negotiating on a transfer of the 30-year-old forward. Chelsea striker Romelu Lukaku may find himself at Inter once again. The 29-year-old striker's lawyer, Sebastian Ledour, is going to arrive to Milan on Tuesday in order to hold talks with the Nerazzurri representatives. The Belgian himself is set to move to Inter, but it will not be easy to make the agreement happen, as it mostly depends on whether Chelsea lets Lukaku go on loan. They paid for the player 115 million euros a year ago. Chelsea have officially changed ownership. Yesterday, a deal was closed for the sale of the club by Roman Abramovich to Todd Boyley and the Clear Lake Capital Consortium. Earlier on, the deal was approved by the UK authorities, the English Premier League and other officials. The management matters of the Blues will be equally divided between Boyley and Clear Lake. Todd also got appointed as a chairman of the management company. Abramovich sells Chelsea for £4.25 billion. Not making an opponent always brings lots of fun, not only for the spectators but also for the players who perform such a trick. For those who want to surprise their mates and outplay them in a style, we advise you to watch this tutorial. The freestyle world champion is gonna show you simple and difficult options for a perfect nutmegging. Let's see if you can do both. We personally managed to succeed only with an easy one. Be sure to follow the link and upgrade your skill. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.